What most people do not know is the history behind school lunches. Schools first began providing food for children because so many were undernourished and farmers had extra crops to sell. The lunches back then were good and healthy. They promoted all food groups, Salisbury steak, broccoli, milk, and a cookie. Nowadays, there have been laws established so kids can have a chance at eating healthy lunches. Nowadays, the servings consist of pizza and nachos. Items such as pizza, pork patties, and biscuits can be found in the school meal recipe books but published in the 1950s. But that pizza of the past wasn't baked and served. It was made and baked in a house by people who knew how to cook. Even though the options have improved over the years and students have the opportunity to choose fruits and vegetables, they might choose, but they may not necessarily eat it. Studies have been performed that shows that there are other factors that aid in unhealthy eating. The noise level, supervision, how many kids were in the cafeteria that day, the length of the lunch period, and the way the food is packaged all determine how much a child ate off their plate. It is bad enough that many of the schools have stopped extracurricular activities. Although activities are done in junior high and high school, the unhealthy eating structure starts at the lower levels. Activities are also not guaranteed for unprivileged schools. For those that are on government assistance and are forced to eat, the school's food have to deal with this issue. Elementary schools do not have the same program as junior high and high schools. Some have to cut out recess, leaving students to eat unhealthy food with no exercise. After so long, this becomes a bad habit causing bad eating habits. An inspector was sent to schools that were newly renovated, and it didn't take him long to find food temperatures that were also dangerous, allowing bacteria to grow. We have to do better to assist our future. A nutritional diet in schools in the United States could greatly help lower the health problems seen in the Americans due to unhealthy eating. Obesity is a huge issue in the United States. An unhealthy eating habit not only causes the obvious health issue, obesity, but it leads into other issues as well, like diabetes and cancer. We must do something to stop this from occurring, because if we don't, we don't stand a chance of it ruining our future in ways that we cannot fix. Forget about the cheaper ingredients just to make a dollar, but think about the students that are shortening their years and their lifespan just to prosper us today. It takes away from our children and our children's children living healthy lives long enough to enjoy the fruit of the labor from our ancestors.